I'm Brenton Geyer. I'm 57 years old and I'm living with HIV. It would be more than 10 years ago, however, I can't pinpoint the date. I, 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 don't, do, I don't live my life like I know when, I, um, when these milestones happen. I know exactly how it happened. My reaction to um, being told of my diagnosis was no real shock. I understood what HIV was or HIV is. I know how that is so different to AIDS. I know how it is so easily now manageable through medication. So for me to be told by my doctor that I had become HIV positive was no big drama, no big stress for me. I knew what was ahead of me and I knew that road ahead wasn't going to be terribly difficult if we managed it appropriately. I'm not the sort of person to go home and wallow, not the sort of person to go home and dwell on things, I'm not the sort of person to go home and cry, I'm the sort of person to get on with life and I'm very lucky because I know a lot of people aren't in that position. Even though I had such great support mechanisms in place upon my diagnosis, for the immediate future, it was really the long-term future that I have, have to think about, still have to think about really. One of the big learnings for me upon being diagnosed with HIV and living with HIV is how strong I am, how resilient I am. The biggest issue for those of us living with HIV is the stigma surrounding the disease. HIV diagnosis is still happening. Um, there's still a long way to go before you eradicate all the issues surrounding HIV. HIV still matters 